It's imperative as a YouTuber, as you cultivate a sense of community amongst your viewers, that you continue to foster that relationship that you've built with them. And I find the best way to do that is to really just get an extreme close-up of my face and ask you if I could just draw you in a little bit closer to the screen. Hopefully you have headphones in so you can hear the subtle audio panning. And then just get even a little bit closer and feel the hot breath on the nape of your neck and just revel in the closeness that we have managed to achieve in spite of the hundreds or even thousands of physical miles between us. <sighs> yeah. Hello everybody and welcome back to a low-key Leon Lush video today. I hope that exercise we just did together in the intro wasn't too awkward for you. I feel that we've really taken our creator to view a relationship to new heights and I think that's a wonderful thing. Today we're going to be chatting uh, briefly uh, just about the real life shit, you know what I'm saying? What's going on in Leon Lush's life? I got a vacation coming up this week with my wife. Uh, we're headed to Savannah, Georgia for the remainder of this week as a little baby moon, you know, one last trip together uh, before the baby comes and we're eternally locked and shackled by the uh, thralls of parenthood. <laughs> now, I want to start off with the big news right off the bat. Now, it probably comes as no surprise, the fact that... What the fuck? Jesus, even in a low-key video, I can't avoid a flying dildo. I mean, Nigel's the one that sets those up. I just figured I'd have a pass on this one, but apparently not. Anyways, we have some pretty crazy news. Uh, you might have seen this coming, but tell him what's up, bud. I'm pregnant. Nigel's pregnant, right? Three weeks after I announced my wife is pregnant, Nigel goes and gets knocked up because he hates seeing me take the spotlight. So that's the big news right off the bat. Nigel is with child, and he's a jealous piece of shit. Now, as I said earlier in the video, I am going to be on vacation this week, so uh, I'm going to try to take it easy and unwind and disconnect a little bit, but... I will be doing a bunch of stuff on Instagram with stories and posting some pics with my wife and I as we're going around Savannah, Georgia, checking out some places. We're going to see some distilleries, maybe check out some museums. So if you feel like uh, taking a look at what I'm doing there, you can always follow me on IG. I probably won't be uploading to YouTube until I return the following weekend. But a few things that are in the pipeline right now for Leon Lush I want to just let you know about. Uh, number one. TomatoMafia.com is a real motherfucking thing. I got a logo done, I have the website uh, being built, and I have some designs in the work, and I'm trying to get that out by the end of May sometime. I know you guys have been very patient. A lot of you have been asking me for several months where that Tomato Mafia merch at. Uh, it's on the way. It's in the works. It's going to be happening, and I uh, can't wait to share it with you guys. I'm trying to make a couple of things that are, you know, wearable in public, uh, and maybe some that are more pajama style, but you know, trying to cover my bases here. Number two. Now, I know this isn't for everybody, but if you like streaming, if you like watching streamers, you enjoy Twitch. I've been spending a lot of time on Twitch lately. I got the PS4 set up in my office. We're playing some video games. We're streaming it, doing some Fortnite. Just got God of War, playing God of War, having a good time over there. So if you like watching streamers, if you want to just be in a setting that's a little more low-key and get to ask me some questions and hang out and have some fun, uh, that's a cool place to do that. Now, I just got my affiliation on Twitch. So you can subscribe if you want as a way to support me. Always appreciate it, of course. If you want to, you can just uh, hit it with a follow and you'll be notified when I go live uh, if that's something that interests you, which it should because it's fucking awesome. Number three. Now, I've put off making a Patreon for several years mainly because I just didn't feel like it was necessary at the time. I was working full time with a job that's pretty good and you know YouTube was more of a hobby it was just a little spend and cash on the side but as things have gotten a little more serious and my channels progressed and I've gotten some sponsorships um, you start to feel that pull of like you know what maybe I could do this full-time eventually and that's ultimately the goal to be able to take those hours I invest working for the man to support myself and find ways to create revenue streams online to free up those hours to be able to reinvest that time into creating more content better content, more frequent uploads, do more music, uh, which is something I know I've said in the past. That is the one thing that I think it, I sacrificed the most 
is I just don't have enough time. Time is such a precious commodity as someone being pulled in all these directions with work, the wife, job, house responsibilities, got a kid on the way. And anytime you can free up a few hours to reinvest in your passion, what you love, that's humongous. So I may be uh, starting a Patreon over the next month or two. I haven't decided exactly how I'm going to implement that, but that will just be an additional place uh, where people can support me, where you could support me if you so choose. But it's obviously never expected. It's just going to be there as an option. Now, now, so many of you guys come back week after week. You're hip thrusting that motherfucking like button. You're leaving comments. You're watching the videos. You're watching the ads even. And it's unbelievably flattering. And I, it's so appreciated on my end. And I don't expect anything more than that ever. I have no expectations. Just the fact that you would come spend a little time watching my shit is is flattering and all I ask. But a lot of you have reached out and you have asked in comments, Instagram DMs, for me to create other ways for you to be able to support me. And, and that is very flattering, but I'm trying to do that. So I got the merchandise coming. I have Twitch subscriptions available if you like streaming. And I have this Patreon thing that I'm going to try uh, to get started soon. I just have to figure out how I want to implement that. Uh, but those will be available, and if you choose to do any of those things, of course, thank you so much. And if you choose not to, I appreciate you just as much, and thank you for watching. All right, guys, so those are just a few of the things that have been spinning around my wheelhouse the past couple weeks that I'm going to be implementing imminently. So keep your eyes out for that. Um, what a ride. I was going to tell you, man, it's just, it's incredible. I have so much fun. I have so much fucking fun making stupid videos and doing music and making dumb dick jokes and dodging dildos and shit. It's... It's crazy, and the fact that it's even turned into anything at all is is, is, a, is a wonder to me. But I want to thank you so much for being a part of it, for supporting me, for supporting Tomato Mafia, for supporting my family, my future son. It uh, means the world to me, and I'm going to keep trying to do the best that I can to balance life, marriage, fatherhood, YouTube, entertainment, right? It's a tough balance, but I'm going to keep trying to do the best I can to try and provide you guys with some entertainment. And listen, I may not always hit the mark, but you can damn well be sure that I'm never going to stop motherfucking trying. <laughs> All right. So do me a favor. If you could just go to your local fraternity house, find a beer bong and jam that shit right into your urethra and pour an entire bottle of Listerine into there and then go hang upside down from a birch tree for about 24 hours while that Listerine marinates inside of your urinary tract. And when the pain is so great, so unbearable that you're forced to release your grip on that birch tree and plummet down into the ground, at that very moment you pull out your phone and you pull up my video and you hip thrust that motherfucking like button for me. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for being a part of the Tomato Mafia. As always, I'm looking forward to what's down the pipe. I'll see you soon after vacation. Peace. Yeah. Peace. Yeah.